Hello everybody, story time with Ola! Ola's story today is The Grouchy Ladybug and the man that wrote the story is Eric Carr. Here we go! Are you ready? Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away! shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those outfits. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Who do you want to fight? Me for them? Good morning, said the ladybug. If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug, sweetie. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. I'll put itself up and flew off. Go away! At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew away. At seven o'clock, it met a stag bee. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If, if you insist, said the praying mantis, reacting out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? Um, if you insist, said the lobster, stretching in claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a bow constrictor. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If, 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 if you insist, said the snake, Right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eagerly and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating at its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinosaurus, lowering its horn. Oh, well, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug 
and blue pole. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale flippers, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew away. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey you, want to fight? But he got no answer, so it flew away. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it started from. Ah, oh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry ladybug. You're welcome, said the friendly ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The end. I hope you enjoyed my story. Olaf can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.